Hello everybody and welcome to my plan with me for this week, which is actually going to be titled A Plan With Us. This is my first collab I'm ever doing with my internet pal Gia. She is from the channel Marriage and Motherhood. She has a ton of wonderful content on her channel that is geared towards being debt free, debt snowballs, lots of different financial advice, lots of fun hauls, as well as planner related content. So we figured this week um, we had been talking for a little while and we wanted to share some of our best planner shops for budget friendly items. So that's what I'm gonna be featuring today. I really encourage you guys to check out Gia's information. All of her information will be down below for you, as well as the direct link for her plan with us video, which will be up at the same time this video is up. See how the internet works that way? It's very exciting. So anyway, check out Gia. Let me know in the comments if you check her out. She has amazing content and I absolutely love watching when she uploads. She's got some great tips and tricks for managing finance, managing schedules, things like that. She's got some good stuff on her channel, so go check her out. Also, this week is gonna be a little bit of a shop feature. Um, I reached out to my friend Catherine at Coffee Break Planner. I have a bunch of her stickers here. I've been collecting her stickers for, gosh, I think ever since she's been open, um, which has been maybe a year and a half or so. I don't know, it's been a while. But anyway, she makes wonderful stickers, and I was telling her about this idea that I wanted to, actually I had this kind of already previously in the works with Catherine at Coffee Break Planner, that I wanted to do a shop feature for her shop, and she has so kindly offered a shop credit for one of you guys. All of the rules are gonna be listed down below, like down here. And I'm gonna be holding it on Instagram. I'm sorry to everybody that doesn't have an Instagram, but you will have to have an Instagram to be eligible for the giveaway. It is gonna be a $55 shop credit. You'll have to spend everything at the same time, but um, if you win, I will go over all the details with you as well. And we're just gonna go from there. So everything I'm gonna show today that is gonna be actual stickers is from a Coffee Break Planner. So let's get into the plan with me. So budgeting tips for planner shops. Really, my biggest budgeting tip is to find a shop that you really like or just a couple that you really like because sometimes the shipping charges can be a little bit outrageous. If you want one sheet of stickers that's say $4, for example, and the shipping is also $4, it kind I mean, it, I guess it pays, it's fine, but sometimes if you can find a bunch of things all at one shop, it makes the shipping charges way less. Or looking for coupon codes, like going onto Instagram or checking out their Facebook page and things like that. Trying to find discount codes as well as a shop that has a lot of the different things that you really gravitate towards is always really, really key in doing decorative planning on a budget. Also, to anybody else interested in any of the stickers that I'm gonna show today, I will be putting a link down below for 20% off of your entire purchase through Coffee Break Planner. So even if you don't win the big prize, it's okay. You can still get discounted stuff through the Coffee Break Planner shop on Etsy. Also, another great tip is to use washi samples. I've kind of laid my stuff out. I'm gonna try to do a rainbow theme this week because, you know, why not? And I get washi samples from all over the place. Um, some of them I have gotten from swaps and giveaways, and other of them I have just um, ordered. You can order some of these online. There are some Etsy shops. I'm not gonna link any below because honestly, I don't know where I got all of these. So I am just gonna let you guys go and find some on your own. Own. Um, usually washi rolls can start anywhere from like a full roll can start anywhere from three dollars and I've seen some as high as like ten dollars a roll which to me is a little bit ridiculous but sometimes you don't necessarily want a whole roll of a particular kind of washi you just want a little sample because maybe you don't know what your planning style is yet so I always encourage to get samples if you have any other planner friends, um, see if they'd be interested in swapping. Most of the planner friends that I have that are in the planning world are usually very, very accommodating with like, hey, I really love that washi. Can you send me one and I'll send you some of mine or I'll send them a picture of like what I have and like we'll just swap, you know? Um, obviously you have to like ship it to them or give it to them regardless of if they're in your area or not but it's just kind of a cool way to test out your style. I know when I first started decorative planning, it was 
a hot mess, you guys. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was so all over the board with everything. I thought everything needed to be cutesy and not functional. And once I got into the functional planning, I feel like I really found my groove and I really, really like the way that my planner spreads look now. I can look at my day and understand where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm seeing, and it totally makes sense in my mind. Um, you know, it all has to just work for you because sometimes we get so caught up in the groove of, you know, oh, this person's doing this on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever, and I have to mimic what they're doing. And you know, this planning thing is all about us, like what works best for us. And you know, yeah, it's a bonus if it, you know, looks cute or whatever, but if it doesn't work for you, it's not going to work for you. So if your version of planning is just taking a pen and writing stuff down, good for you, you know? You don't have to invest in all of this stuff if you don't really want to. And sometimes it's just as easy as putting a little arrow or whatever. Um, I have some really functional stickers that I'm gonna be showing off in just a minute, but yeah, I mean, figure out what works for you, and I'm totally a functional gal. I do like some decorative stuff once in a while, but I'm pretty particular with my decorative things. Um, I don't like a lot of it. So, however, I love the way it looks in other people's planners. It just doesn't always suit my needs, you know? So, um, if I had a whole gaggle of kids and had a rip-roaring social life, as you know, as everybody knows, it's not true, but if I did, I'd be like, oh yeah, that would work great for me, but I'm not gonna order a sheet of stickers just for it to like sit and hang out and not be used. So I wanna use what functions for me personally. I gotta cut off this little tail up here. All right, if you guys are interested in where I get my um, planner from, it's from Erin Condren, the link will be below. This little, guy. It's like a little clip-in thing. It's like a little bookmark. Um, it came in a pack of three, but I use it to cut washi. I find that it actually works really, really stinking well. Um, this is from Erin Condren as well, and um, I will leave the link below for you guys if you're interested. If you click on that clickable link um, Aaron, on erincondren.com, you can get a $10 off coupon code if it's your first purchase. They're going to send you a whole bunch of coupon, like not coupons, but a bunch of um, different emails that'll pop up. And then um, once you're on the email, uh, usually it's the same day, sometimes it's not. There's gonna be an actual $10 off coupon code that you can use. Um, like I said, sometimes it's the same day, sometimes it's not. And that's to get $10 off of your first purchase. It can be off of anything, it doesn't need to be a planner. It can be like literally these if you really want these. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, but if you order and you get, um, you'll get $10 off of your first purchase and then I actually get a $10 off code to apply to my future purchases too, which is kind of awesome because that's how I can bring some of the really cool hauls and lots of different products that I use so I can show you guys, um, you know, what's new through Erin Condren. So it's kind of fun. All right. So I have all of my washi in, so I'm kind of like putting in what I'm doing y'all. All right. Do -do 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 -do. So, uh, so let's go this way. I don't know why. Why not? Why not, you guys? Okay, so let's get the laundry sticker. I'm actually gonna do my laundry on Sunday. Usually I end up doing it on Saturdays, mainly because, I don't know, it's just like the first day of the week. Weekend, I should say. Not the first day of the week, oh my gosh. Um, so the reason I do that is um, I'm gonna be watching NASCAR this day, but I'm gonna be filming on Saturday. So I don't like to do my filming on the same day that I do my laundry because it's just so loud and annoying. Um, you know, it just, I just don't like it, y'all. All right, I think I'm gonna use this sticker because it kind of goes with this washi, I think, pretty well. I don't know, what do you guys think? And then I'm gonna put my little Las Vegas thing right in the center because they're on. They're at Las Vegas this upcoming weekend. It's actually at 2.30, but that's okay. It can be blocked off at two. I know you can't see the pattern very well, but I feel like it goes pretty well together. 
why not y'all why not okay and then on Saturday I'm gonna be doing all of my like filming and such so here are some of the basic stickers that I was talking about the very like beginning of the video um, these fit okay so in her shop she's got hourly and then she also has vertical to fit the Erin Condren so it's kind of whatever you want this one fits like one little time slot like a half hour this one will fit an hour and this one will fit an hour and a half so it'll fit like three lines so I think all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna use like the skinny one because I'm just really putting in that I'm gonna be filming on Saturday and I really don't need like more, you know, information than that really. Just gonna put like a little icon right here. And the pens that I'm using can be linked, or can be linked, they are linked below if you guys are interested in the kinds of pens that I use. All right, so that is done there. I think I'm actually gonna use the same blue for this. Um, there's no like bold blue for Saturday, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm going to put in, I think I'm just gonna use the skinny ones. Nah, I think I'll use the, I think I use the fat ones, the, the one hour ones. And I'm just gonna put in here work and I'm gonna use the correlating little icons that she has because they're freaking adorable. Not that I don't already know I'm going to work you guys, but it just makes my, makes my life feel better. <laughs> so yeah, it goes all the way to the edge, which I absolutely love and I'm kind of obsessed with. All right, and the green she has is kind of more like a celery green, but is like super cute. Oh, these are the these are the thicker ones. I'm gonna go with the middle size. I feel like all I do at work is I'm on the computer the entire day. My eyeballs kind of hurt after work. And then I go home and I do all my YouTube work, which also hurts my, hurts my eyeballs, y'all. It hurts my eyeballs. All right, where are we at? Okay. So we're on Z yellow, super cute. And yes, I start working at 7 a.m. People are people have sometimes asked me like, wait a minute, what time do you start working? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I, I work at 7 a.m. It's okay, guys, it's okay. And I actually made my own schedule, so it's my own fault. <laughs> uh, but it's all right. I actually work uh, quite a distance away from my office, so I, to beat the traffic before you know traditional people are going into the office themselves so I don't know I like it makes my life a little bit easier in the mornings especially when I've got you know to hustle into the office if I'm running late or something but gets my gets my day going faster and also then I get to leave and sometimes well actually now it's still light outside which it hadn't been for a while because you know it's that time of year again. Plus, Daylight Savings is coming up too, so that's actually happening on Sunday, which I'll have to mark in, so don't forget to tell me, you guys. Don't forget to tell me. All right, and then on Monday, okay, so I'm gonna collab with Gia, which obviously, hello, that's what's happening. Um, I have a issue with my car, so I need to go in, but I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use one of these stickers. I don't really care which one, let's see. But I don't wanna waste this thing. So maybe like that. Okay. I'm trying to be, get like really artsy fartsy, you guys. But also I don't wanna be wasteful because I wanna use this again, you know? Okay, let's see if this will work. Ooh yeah, that works, okay, cool. And the thing I love about Catherine's stickers is they are matte removable stickers. So like if you lay it down and it's not working <laughs> or it doesn't like look right to you, you can um, pick them up really easily. And actually, now that I say that, this is not right. So let me pull this up. It was just a little bit crooked, but it doesn't like tear on your pages or anything. It's really nice. Okay, so there's an issue with my car. One of my tires is always seems like it's low, um, like with the air pressure, and it always like puts the little sensor on in my car. So I need to stop at Tires Plus on my way home on Monday because there's one right on, right on the way back 
home from my office. So I will do that. And then I gotta cut off this little tail. I only wasted a little bit. You see that? I only wasted a little bit. That's not bad, <laughs> considering. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm gonna do that right after work. So I'm just gonna put that right down here. It'll just be a reminder to deal with that. Okay, so Catherine actually just um, introduced these into her shop, which I had talked to her about, and I said, hey, can you make something like this? She's like, absolutely. So these are these big, nice, fat um, laptops. So what I wanna use this for is I'm gonna write down my videos and I'm gonna put them in here for the week. So I'm gonna put in Plan With Us. All right, so Plan With Us featuring my friend Gia. I'm just gonna put this right down at the very, very bottom. Looks cute. All right, so Wednesday's video. Okay, so some of you have been asking like, since I moved away from Fargo, what was Fargo really like? Because I feel like for some of you, you feel like Fargo is this like really strange area that you're not really familiar with. Trust me, I wasn't familiar with it either until I moved there. And there are some very interesting things about Fargo that you wouldn't know unless you actually live there. So. I think I'm gonna film that video. Um, I'm actually filming it right after this because obviously I'm filming this video right now. So um, I'm gonna just do five facts about Fargo. All right, so that'll be up on Wednesday. I know it's kind of a weird video for me, but I don't care. Why the heck not? Oh, I love the way these look. These are so freaking cute. All right, and then um, I am gonna be doing, so I just finished my FPU, which you guys, hopefully I already know if you watch my channel at all. Um, so I did those all every single week while I was going to FPU. FPU is now over, so I think next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday, I'm gonna be sharing a video of my kind of like top five takeaways from FPU. Like I need it to like digest a little bit more. But a lot of you have been asking on those FPU videos, do I disagree with any of like the teachings in FPU or Dave at all on anything? And the answer is yes. So a lot of you have been asking what it is and I haven't really divulged any of that information in like the comments or anything. So I'm gonna film a dedicated video called Do I Disagree With Dave? <laughs> Um, because a lot of you have been just really interested, so I don't know. We're gonna do it. So that'll be up on Friday, on my Financial Friday. All right, so that's good. Okay, and then I've got these little skinny ones for the hourly that are have like little TV icons. And on Tuesday, This Is Us is back. You guys, if you watch This Is Us, you understand, oh my God. I haven't actually watched like a dedicated television show in a really, really long time. Um, I'm a big Netflix person. Um, you know, I don't really care to watch television too much, really. Uh, this is this is us is on at like eight o'clock. So I'm just gonna put it on my like eight o'clock section, even though there's no eight, it's gonna work just fine. But oh my gosh, you guys, the last episode, which last week they didn't have an episode it was the week before yikes no spoilers I'm not gonna give any spoilers if you guys haven't caught up but you need to catch up okay um, and I've been hearing that there's only two episodes left in the entire season so there's this week and I think next week and they're supposed to be like even worse like tear jerkers so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna make it y'all I don't know if I'm gonna make it and then this video is gonna be really long, you guys, so I'm just, just letting you know now, it's gonna be a long one. I think you already know that if you've already gotten this far. Um, I get paid on Friday, and this is a payday that is going right in the savings account. So I'm just gonna write payday. So that's happening on Friday. I don't really care if it, you know, goes above that, whatevs. Whatevs, y'all. Whatevs. And then on Thursday night, I really need to buckle down and deal with some paperwork. So um, I'm just gonna write organize files on one of these guys. I've been putting it off for quite a while and it just, it needs to happen. So that's kind of like my evening plans on Thursday. And then on, I think Tuesday, yeah, because I think I'm good for a little while. 
I need to run to the store. So um, I've been doing a lot of my grocery shopping at Aldi recently. So I'm gonna put in Aldi. It's like one of my favorite places. Every once in a while I will stop and I'll go to um, you know, like a like a local grocery store or Target if I can't find exactly what I'm looking for. But, you know, most of the time I can find what I'm looking for at Aldi, which is really great, which I love. And I almost forgot to put in my trash, which I take out on Wednesday. So I'll put that up there. And then I'm starting a new medication this week. Let's see here, one, two. All right, so there's seven little heart checklists. So I think I'm just going to put this on the sidebar over here. And then I'll just check them off as I go maybe. I don't know. I've got these little like cute stethoscope things. So we'll put this, we'll put this over here. This little guy on the top. And don't worry, nothing's wrong with me. Well, I guess. Maybe there is something wrong with me, but we're not gonna talk about that, okay? That's a different kind of video, all right? Um, and then, okay, so there's my film, and then over here, I'm just gonna put this in, and I'm just gonna put edit, because let's be honest, I'm gonna be editing probably all evening after that on Saturday. So it'll be like, well, I'll just put it right down here because those are my, my rockin' Saturday night plans, you guys. It's pretty crazy. So I think this is gonna be it for the plan with me for this week. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. See, Mom, I'm still breaking my wrists for you, down below. And also, I totally forgot to mention this, I got a new tripod that is like directly overhead now, so no funny angles. Hopefully there's no funny angles but the camera is literally just facing straight down. So I hope this is a better view for you guys and you get a little bit less glare as well. Let me know in the comments if you like this setup a little bit better. Today I am using all natural lighting, so that is always a good thing because I feel like the video quality comes out a whole lot better when I do that. So I am gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you so much to Gia for partnering up with me on this video. Make sure to check out all her links, you guys. I will leave some of her social media links in the description box below too. Too, so make sure to check her out and her channel is fabulous if you go and check her out and you make sure to subscribe tell her that Emily sent you and also make sure to check out her video that she did also her plan with us because she's gonna have some other really great sticker shops and tips and tricks for creating a beautiful spread in your planner without busting your budget so that's it from me I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to check out Instagram for all of the details on the giveaway that will be up as soon as this video publishes so go and check that out I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys!